Today I've got an epic plugin for you that you can use in Premiere Pro and After Effects. It's going to help you bring up your production value and speed up your workflow massively. So let's jump into Google right now. Type in Mr. Horse Premiere Pro. Hit the link at the top. Download for Mac. Of course, if you're on Windows, there's an option to download on Windows. Then let's jump over here. Let's bring Mr. Horse Product Manager into that Applications folder. Sweet, that should be in there now. Perfect. So let's fire that up. Click Open. And as you can see, it's got After Effects or Premiere Pro. If there was a reason that you didn't want the plugin in one or the other, you could just individually download it on each individual tab. But for today's tutorial, we're going to click Install All to make sure it installs on both After Effects and Premiere Pro. Amazing. So as you can see, that's downloading right now. Perfect. So it's on Premiere Pro. Perfect. It's also on After Effects now. Amazing. Cool. So we can actually close this now. We can close that. Close this. Let's fire up Premiere Pro. So I've actually got a test project I'm going to open right now for tutorials. And what I'm going to do, as you can see, Premiere Pro has added Premiere Composer straight there. If you don't want it here for any reason or another, you could drag it around to any kind of spot you want it in Premiere, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Let's just show you what's going on in here. We've got a starter pack. And this is all completely for free, so don't let that go over your head. There is a paid version too, which is packed with a whole load of whole load of crazy, crazy effects and, and more. But I'm not gonna lie, this free version is definitely gonna carry carry your edits further and and really bring up that production value. So let's actually start by bringing in some footage into our timeline so we can see how this is all going to look together. Cool, we've got that one there. And let's also bring in this one. Sweet. So before showing you any transitions, I do just want to quickly show you these text boxes, which are pretty cool, that you can actually just use to really speed up some time whilst adding some creativity and more advanced editing to your workflow. So as you see, it says Mr. Horse because that's the name of the brand. But when you come over here under Premiere Composer, you can click edit, the edit icon or tab will appear, the edit tab will appear after you've dragged it into your timeline. If not, you're on the browse tab. Let's click on edit, click on text, change that from Mr. Horse to testing. And again, I'm just gonna play that for you so you can kind of see animation in, animation out, sweet. So there's a whole bunch here that you can actually use. This one's pretty cool too. And this one's on from the side. Again, pretty cool. You can do all the usual things. If you wanna change anything, just go for it. You know, make it your own. And you can, yeah, edit this down to the T. So if you want to space it out, add the track in, change the color. You can do a lot here. And let's also show you now some transitions as I know this is going to help a lot of people. Because like, guys, don't let this go over your head that this is for free. You know, you can do this for free. It's a, such a game changer for a lot of editors who are looking to save time and money. So I've just dragged in a zoom in transition. As you can see, we've also got a nice sound design that's come with that. So I'm just gonna come over here and play that back for you now. So as you can see, it did lag slightly. So let's just render that out. Epic. As you can see, we've got an awesome, awesome transition here. Let's just hit repeat on that so you can see it again. So as you can see, we've got an epic zoom in. 
and this actually works really well because it goes from the stage to the crowd so it's definitely worth getting creative with your shot choices and where you use these so that's an epic zoom in one you've also got the option to do a zoom out which i can imagine you guys are going to know what that is pan's going to be a popular one and that's epic because we can literally pan from one side to the other so check this yo that's looking fire man so yeah essentially it's a quick pan with the sound effect from one clip to the other let's also show you shake and distort it's pretty cool sweet let's add this in here sweet extend that a bit cool so check this so that was a cool shake and i'll show you one more because i can imagine you guys are getting the idea by now digital glitch is worth it but you know what actually let me show you this light leak because this is really good it's a bit heavy on the on the old rendering because it's so epic so check this amazing see that works really well too because the torch is on the screen so again use this where you think it's going to fit best in your work but as you can see you get a really nice light leak effect here and the great thing about this is you can actually go in and change the colors so there's about eight colors here and for example if you wanted an all blue theme you can make them all blue and keep it all blue right now we've got a mix of colors so you get a bit of an effect going on with the colors too like a nice flash but if you wanted to keep it a one color light leak that's definitely an option for you and let's also come down here under transitions you've got another folder called social media and again this is great if you just wanted a placeholder see you can put your icon and your text again really really helping a lot of people speed up their workflows shape elements again really cool stuff because again this is going to bring up a lot of people's production value who may not have the time or experience to be jumping into after effects and doing all of these manually let's just render that sweet so as you can see it bounces in and out sweet so again a really good really good effect to have under your toolbox and at the bottom you can see sounds again if you need any for any kinds of reasons this is the place to be did you hear how epic that was that was epic that was epic that's epic let's drag that in the timeline just add that down here so let's actually give you a nice tutorial with the sound design just check this by itself how epic is that cool now i'll tell you what now you've seen that yeah we've got the nice sound effect let's come back here add a let's add a digital distort sweet cool let's just quickly render that so as you can see you can kind of piece these different effects and transitions together and you're going to get a really really good product at the end of it and you have to think We've absolutely upgraded the value now of this edit with some advanced, advanced editing techniques in such a quick, short space of time. So here it says motion graphics. Let's just put let's go. And let's actually bring that to the center of the frame. And the effects control, bring that to the middle. And now uh, let's have a look at this all together because this is going to look cool. Let's go. Sweet. So as you can see, things are really starting to come to life here. It's definitely a tool that you need in your toolbox. And 
Like I said, it's all completely for free. And if you're looking to spice up your edits any further, definitely check out my link in the description. Where you're gonna find my shop, which has got custom made presets, transitions, and a whole lot more made by myself from my editing experience that really helps speed up my workflow and that's in the description right now if you want to go check that out anyway thanks for tuning in guys peace